Okay, it's the uh, 21st of April 2011, and uh, tonight's job was to um, fix the gear lever tower in place, which I have done, uh, and I can now use the uh, gear shifter to actually select gears uh, in the sequential gearbox. Um, I don't want to use it too much because there's no oil in the box at the moment, so I don't want to wear anything out, so I'm resisting the temptation to have a play with it at the moment. Um, the next job tonight is to actually find out where to fit the, um, the gear position indicator. I think, to be honest, the best bet is going to be just there, um, which gives me, while I'm sitting here on the steering wheel, um, I've got a sort of good view of the actual uh, gear position indicator, which is a pretty bright LED. And I should never be in a situation where I can't read what it says. Um, I've pre-fitted the dashboard, um, having labelled it recently, so we've got switches down here now for wet and dry, uh, maps for launch and traction control, traction control on and off, uh, launch button for when you're sat on the start line to actually get the uh, the uh, thing into launch mode and here we've got a, uh, an aggressiveness for traction control which goes from 0% all the way around to 100 and uh, I'll probably leave it at about 50% for the time being so uh, yeah good progress the um, Altis tower lever looks pretty good I've uh, bolted it securely to the floor so it doesn't move um, so just little things like um, adjusting gear cable linkages uh, length and that type of thing to do but uh, the gearbox and engine are coming out uh, over Easter so I can change the, um, the flywheel for a, a Titan super light one which weighs 3.7 kilos uh, and uh, and the new front suspension is now on its way from America from from Carl Hack and from the uh, custom engineering company so as soon as that arrives I can get the uh, suspension back on which should clear the gearbox and then we can go out and have a bit of a play.